the holidays are here. And this time of year, one of my favorite things to do is find small little things around the house to take pictures of. So let's get started with some fun holiday photography. Yes, it's the holidays again. And like I said, one of my favorite things to do this time of year is find little things around the house that I can practice my photography on. We've usually got a little time off, we're here at home, the weather outside is cold, and it's nice and warm in here. So let's find something to take some pictures of. One of the things that I like to do is to find some kind of gift looking thing to use as my foreground subject and use the lights of the Christmas tree as the background. I like to get that shallow depth of field, blur out that background and get those nice bokeh balls. The little circles of color from the Christmas tree lights. Look, I know that it's cliche. I know that it's been done to death, but maybe there's a reason that it's been overdone because it's fun. I like taking the pictures and I like the results. So that's what we're gonna do. One of the things that works well as a foreground element for these kind of pictures is a toy. We got our daughter this, and I'm sure that some of you will remember these guys. The old Rock'em Sock'em robots, right? She's been having a blast with it. Well, it was sitting here on the coffee table, and I thought that would be a cool thing to take some pictures of with the tree lights in the background. So I grabbed my Z6 and 24 to 70 and started firing off some shots. Now these came out okay, but they were pretty much snapshots. So the setup I started with was the 24 to 70 zoomed all the way into 70 millimeters, um, had it at F4. I had the camera kind of down low on a tripod because I didn't want to turn the house lights way up and overpower the lights of the tree. So I had to use long exposure times to keep the ISO low. I was shooting, I think they were around three to five second exposures. They came out okay. They were kind of neat, kind of interesting, but like I said, they were sort of snapshots. So I started thinking about what could I do to improve this picture. The first thing that came to mind was the tree's too small in the background. Yes, it's back there and you can see the blurred out lights, but I wanted to make it bigger. I wanted to bring that tree closer and fill the background with the lights of the tree. Well, I didn't move the Rock'em Sock'em robots and I certainly didn't move the tree. So how am I gonna accomplish this? I changed lenses. I took off the 24 to 70 and replaced it with the Tamron 70 to 200. That allowed me to zoom in and through the compression, bring that background closer to the foreground because of the angle of view of the lens. I think I wound up zoomed into around 150 millimeters on the 70 to 200. This made all the difference in the world. Now, the tree filled the background of the picture. All of the background was the lights of the tree. Looked pretty good, but I still had some work to do. One thing that I noticed was that my subject wasn't popping out. It wasn't separated from the background. You know, for one thing, the background element was lights and there was no specific light on the subject. So it didn't stand out. Well, how do I get two different exposures, one for the background and one for the foreground? Simple, a flash. So I went downstairs, grabbed my speed light, a light stand, and my remote triggers. Now, if you're getting into flash photography, I definitely recommend getting some remote triggers for it. It is probably the most effective way to get that flash off of your camera. Get it off to the side, get it up high, just get it in a different position. It makes your pictures look so much better. These things are cheap. I think I spent maybe $30 on this set and I've been using them for years. They work fine. So anyway, I grabbed my light stand and my speed light and I set it up and I took a couple more shots. Now, I was able to balance the exposure the way I wanted it. I darkened the background by speeding up the shutter speed and used the flash to illuminate my foreground, the Rock'em Sock'em robots. It still wasn't quite right though. The direction of the light just didn't look quite right. I had just set the flash up real quick and was kind of side lighting them and it just, it just didn't work. So I thought, how can I improve the lighting? Well, what do the lights look like at a real boxing match? The lights are up high and they're pointed down towards the ring in the center. Ah, so I raised up my flash and I adjusted it 
so that it was pointing almost directly down onto the ring. Then I took some more shots. Now we're getting somewhere. I've got the light coming down from above, which looks more like a, you know, boxing match. I've got the blurred out Christmas tree lights in the background, and the background is dark enough that my subject is separated and stands out. There was one problem left that I had to address, and that is that even though I was shooting a small subject and the flash was fairly close, the light from the flash was creating these sharp shadows and making the foreground just a little too busy and it just didn't look pleasing. So I needed to soften up that light from the flash. In order to do that, you need a modifier. Now I have umbrellas and soft boxes, but with this setup that just wouldn't work because I didn't have the room to position them. I also didn't really feel like going downstairs, digging them out, attaching them to the stand and going through all that hassle. But I had a simpler solution close at hand. My wife and daughter were baking Christmas cookies in the kitchen. So I ran into the kitchen and stole a sheet of parchment paper. Now this works great as a simple cheap modifier for a flash or a speed light like this. So once I got my composition the way I wanted it, I had my exposures balanced the way I wanted them. I set the self timer on the camera to five seconds. I pressed the shutter button, then while it was counting down, I ran over and held the parchment paper in front of the flash, just like this. Poof. Camera takes a picture, go back, look at it on the back of the screen, love it. The light is softened up, it's coming from a direction that makes sense, and the exposure is balanced with the background. I made a few more tweaks and took some more photos and played around some more, but that basically is the setup that I used for the final image. I did a little bit of post-processing on it, a quick edit on it um, in Lightroom, threw it up on my Instagram. The next day, I took some more pictures of ornaments on the tree, another thing that I like to do. Another thing where the, the, the shallow depth of field really works to your advantage and you can get some nice holiday looking Christmassy pictures out of it. With that, I would like to say that I hope that you're happy and healthy and getting an opportunity to spend some time with your loved ones this holiday season. And while you're doing it, why not pull your camera out and find some things to take pictures of and have fun doing it. Thanks.